Hello everyone, I'm Matt Mitrovich, the alternate historian. Happy 4th of July to my fellow Americans. To celebrate the birth of the United States, let's take a look at the top five American Revolution what-ifs and how they could have changed the outcome of the war. Number five, Ferguson's rifle. Major Patrick Ferguson was a Scottish officer in the British Army during the American Revolution who designed the Ferguson rifle. This was the first breech-loading rifle put into service in the British military. It had an amazing rate of fire, and the right hands could fire 6 to 10 rounds a minute. The gun, however, was expensive, took a long time to produce, and broke down in combat. Ferguson and his unit were issued the guns and fought at the Battle of Brandywine, but were disbanded shortly thereafter, and the guns were never used again by the British Army. Despite the issues with the Ferguson rifle, alternate historians love using top-of-the-line technology. Perhaps the British could have stopped the revolution in its tracks if they had given the army the Ferguson rifle, but there are many other ways they could have won the war. In fact, when you dig into Ferguson's life, you learn how close he came to changing history when given a chance to kill a certain cherry tree chopping continental. Number 4. The Death of George Washington If you study American history, you've probably heard of George Washington. He was America's first president and the general of the Continental Army during the revolution. He is also, according to many alternate historians, the linchpin to America's victory. As earlier alluded to, Patrick Ferguson almost fired upon an unsuspecting American officer in the woods along Brandywine Creek near Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania in 1777. Considering unsporting, he at the last minute refused. It's debated that this officer was Washington himself, and if Ferguson took the shot, it could have ended the war. Washington was an important leader in the American Revolution. He had military experience and had the personality that inspired soldiers to follow him during the darkest times. More importantly, he took on the almost impossible task of organizing and training an army when supplies, money, and the will to keep it going were hard to come by. Losing him early in the war, either from Ferguson's bullet or for some other reason, could have broken the spirit of the Continental Army and cost America its independence. Even if Washington doesn't die early, there are still many ways for the British to defeat the Americans, even at the very end of the war. Number 3. The Battle of Yorktown Admittedly, I was surprised to learn how many people thought the Battle of Yorktown was a turning point of the war, but my research seems to confirm this was true. In 1781, Washington was having trouble paying and supplying the Continental Army. Even with direct French assistance, morale was low among the Americans, especially when British General Charles Cornwallis successful campaign in the South. When Cornwallis, however, entrenched his troops at Yorktown, Virginia, Washington took the opportunity to march his forces south and besiege him there. A British fleet came to relieve them, but it was driven off by a French fleet. Cornwallis thus had no choice but to surrender. Although it didn't end the war immediately, it convinced the British to begin negotiations, which ended with the Treaty of Paris in 1783, recognizing American independence. Alternate historians speculate that if Cornwallis hadn't encamped at Yorktown, or if the Royal Navy had defeated the French fleet, the British may have continued to fight the war, and the flagging American morale may have finally led to a major defeat that would have ended the revolution. Still, there is another battle that is recognized as a true turning point of the American Revolution. Number 2. The Battle of Saratoga This is the battle that all young Americans learn in school was the key to beating the British. In 1777, British General John Burgoyne marched south from Canada with his army, intending to meet another British army marching north from New York City. The plan was to split New England off from the rest of the colonies, but the second force never arrived. Burgoyne, surrounded by hostile Americans, attempted to flee, but was outmaneuvered by American forces under Benedict Arnold. Yes, that Benedict Arnold, the guy whose name is synonymous with traitor in American history. His skill in battle ensured America won a major victory that led to the surrender of an entire British army and convinced the French and Spanish to join the war on the side of the Americans. Sadly, Arnold being denied credit for the victory was one of the reasons why he turned against the rebels. Nevertheless, the Battle of Saratoga is an extremely popular what-if, and there are many works that use it. If Burgoyne had won the battle, it probably would delay or prevent the entrance of France or Spain into the war. If the original plan had been carried out, it could have split the young nation in two and ended the war by the time it began. That all being said, I still think there is one what-if that is even more important than Saratoga, which some have referred to as America's Dunkirk. Number 1. The Battle of Long Island While Saratoga may be the more popular what-if with alternate historians, I personally find the Battle of Long Island to be the make-or-break moment for the American Revolution. In August of 1776, only a short time after the Declaration of Independence was ratified, a British army under General William Howe landed on Log Island, defeating the Continental Army under General Washington. Trapped at Brooklyn Heights, with a British army on one side and the British fleet on the other, it looked like the short-lived rebellion was at an end. Of course, we know that Washington got away in this timeline. On the night of August 29th, Washington's army began to cross the water to Manhattan, while others distracted the British by having men tend to the fires and make as much noise as possible. All throughout the night, men and supplies were moved off Long Island, but it wasn't fast enough, and soon it was morning. 
Luckily, a thick fog covered the area, and the Americans completed the evacuation, with General Washington being the last American to leave Long Island. If that butterfly in China decided to flap its wings a little harder, there would have been no fog to cover the American retreat from the British fleet. The loss of the Continental Army and its leaders so early in the war would have made the Declaration of Independence meaningless. It was an incredible stroke of luck that helped save a young nation. So I hope you guys enjoyed my list of American Revolution what is. If you like what I do, please comment, subscribe, or support me on Patreon. I'm Matt Mitrovich, The Alternate Historian. Bye.